Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tips and tricks video on OnePlus One. So guys, I made two parts of it. I'll leave a link for the other part in the description area. So do check that out. So let's get started. Next we have the sound and notification settings. Here we have individual toggles or individual sliders for different aspects of the phone. If you want to have a certain volume level for your media files such as MP such as your songs and movies, you can set the media volume. If you want a different alarm volume, you can set it over here and you have the ring volume or the caller volume over here. If you want your phone to vibrate when you get calls, enable this toggle. And next we come to interruptions. So we have three modes of interruption. One is all and the slider position is all the way to the bottom. So if you move the slider position once, you'll be in the priority mode. And if you move it once again, you will be set to none or no interruptions. Well, normally on other devices, normally on other devices, you get to choose the alert mode or interruption mode, even in this volume panel. But as this device has a alert slider, you're not getting that option. While this device is in all interrupt mode, you can have interruptions. You get interrupted for events, reminders, calls, and messages. And if you go to priority mode. You can set it such a way that you get interrupted only when you get only when you get calls and if you go to none you won't be interrupted at all you can set it up like that so guys that's pretty much about the interrupts next if you go to other sounds you have other sound related options like dial pad tones volume slider sound vibrate on touch and touch sounds and screen locking sounds you can enable or disable any of these toggles according to your preference. And finally we have the app notifications and notification access. And, and over here we have the notification section. So when your device is locked we can choose to have all notifications shown or we don't want any of the notifications on the lock screen. So as of now it is set to show all notifications. So this is our lock screen and I'm able to see the notifications. So if I set it to don't show, then none of the notifications are being displayed. Next if you want to lock out all the notifications from any app, then you can come to app notifications and select any app and block the app from sending you any notifications. Next if we go to storage, if we scroll down we have this option saying OTG storage. So if this option is not checked, your OTG pen drive won't be detected. So out of the box it won't be checked and if you connect your OTG pen drive, it will not detect in any file manager. So you need to enable this option to access your files in your OTG pen drive. And as of now we have an external SD card inserted but it doesn't show any information about it. it it gives us only information about the internal storage and as you can see I just have 500 MB of free space. So I have these games installed and all of them are pretty huge. I have NFS, No Limit, Asphalt 8, Nova 3 and Modern Combat 5 and most of these games have sizes more than 1 GB or even more than 1.5 GB. So I ended up with having no internal space at all. So it's not simply a game of phone and we are not able to move apps to the SD card as of now. So I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go to battery. So guys this is the battery information. It gives us information about how long it took the device to charge and how long it took the device to discharge completely and how much each individual aspect of the phone consumes battery. So if you go to screen we can see that it has been running like for 3 hours 35 minutes and it has used up 25% of the battery. Well these stats aren't correct because there are a lot of ups and downs. So additionally we have something called as battery saver mode. So you can enable by simply enabling this toggle or you can set it up such that whenever your battery percentage is below 15% it automatically kicks in. As far as I know all this battery saver does is simply disable the background data so if you are using Facebook, only when it is on your screen, it will be able to access internet. 
and when you go out of the Facebook application, Facebook won't be able to access internet. So make sure you go to battery saver and set it such that it will automatically turn on when you are at 15%. When the battery saver is turned on, you get this pink taskbar and if you have on screen navigation buttons, you get a pink navigation bar. So if you go to the notifications, you can turn off the battery saver mode. Simply click this button and the battery saver mode will be disabled. Next let's go to apps and we have the downloaded section. These are all the list of apps that are downloaded and if we swipe right these are all the apps that are currently running in the background and as you can see the free RAM is about 800 MB which is really great and if we swipe right once again these are the list of apps. These are all the user apps and system apps. To move any app to SD card you simply have to select the app and you have this option that says move to SD card. If you click on it, it is supposed to move it to the SD card but I am getting error for some apps. We have the user section, out of the box we have only one user but you can enable the guest mode. So whenever you are giving away your device to someone else for short amount of time, you can put a, you can put a lock to your device and enable guest mode. So you can tweak what apps they have access to and what they can actually do. So now we are in the guest mode. It actually takes some time to set it up and it does consume some internal storage. So this is the guest mode. We have all the stock apps and that's pretty much it. So you can have multiple users but you'll be sh but you'll be falling short on your internal storage. So let me switch back to the original profile. So switching is really easy and you can configure it using the gear button over here. And out of the box the guest mode doesn't have phone call facility. It is basically disabled. So you can enable this toggle to allow them to make calls. So optionally you can create more users other than the guest mode like being able to access your apps. It is very similar to the windows users environment. Going on we have the customization section where we have the dark mode. As you can see the entire screen is black because of the dark mode. If I disable it, we have your normal lollipop mode and everything, look, and everything looks bright and shiny but I like everything black. So enable the dark mode and we have this awesome black theme. And we have something called as accent colors. We can change the colors from here. It simply changes these toggle colors. To whatever you want so finally we have leading notification we can change the default color for notifications all from the customization section so guys if we go to the security we can set up the lock screen as of now we have a simple swipe we can set it up to a pin we can give a pattern and we can re-enter the pattern and confirm and we have the option to show all notification while the device is locked or hide them. Let it be shown. And now we have something nice called as smart lock. Using smart lock we can have trusted face, trusted place and on body detection. You can have trusted places such that whenever you are in this place your lock screen will be automatically disabled. So I can set my home as a trusted place and when I'm at home it won't ask me to enter password again and again. So there I have it. Next I have something called as trusted face. So I can have face recognition in this way. So that's my face. That's how I look. So it's done. And now it's all set. And when I lock the device and, and try to unlock it it won't show my face like earlier but if it can read my face it will automatically unlock the device so you just saw that profile thing it was trying to read my face so now let me try to unlock and finally we have something called as on body detection once it is turned on 
as long as you unlock the device and the device is with you like when you are moving or sitting it won't ask you for the password again and again again and again but let's say if you put this device on a table and if you pick it up then it'll ask you for a password once again and again it's a very nice feature to have so on trusted faces you have improved face matching to improve the face recognition so let's go back additionally we have the options to lock the phone immediately when you press the power button so i don't usually use it but if you but if you want you can use it next we have something called as unknown sources so if this is enabled you will be able to install apps from apk files that is installation files apart from installing apps from the play store if we scroll down a little more we have something called as screen pinning and once it is enabled if you go to the recent panel you have a small pin over here on the right bottom of the app if you pin it nobody will be able to get out of this app so no matter what i do or what i press i won't be able to go anywhere apart from this settings panel or settings page or settings app so to come out of this app or to unpin this app i can simply press back button simply press and hold it and it is unpinned so if you are giving your phone to your kid to play some game and if and you don't want him to access anything else you can simply pin the game and give it to him and you hold and you also have the option to unpin it only if you enter your password so that's a pretty nice feature so that's pretty much about the settings and if you go to app permissions this is very similar to the privacy guard on cyanogen mode you can basically select any app that you want and enable or disable permissions for that so it is that simple and next we have accessibility over here we can choose to end calls using the power button so if you enable this toggle you can end calls using the power button you, additionally you have options for auto rotate high contrast and some magnification gesture and if you go to about phone scroll down a little and click on build number 7 times you will enable the developer options and once it is enabled you can find developer options just above the about phone in developer options you have the option to unlock the bootloader over here so if you want to unlock the boot so if you want to unlock the bootloader you need to enable this option and go to fast boot mode and try to unlock it so next we have advanced reboot so it is currently enabled let me show you what happens when it is disabled when i press the power button and select reboot it will simply ask me for a confirmation to reboot now if advanced reboot is enabled if i press the reboot button i have the options to either reboot or go to recovery or go to bootloader so if you want that kind of an option enable advanced reboot next we have usb debugging so if you want to flash a new rom or root it you need to enable usb debugging but for security reasons if you are not using any of that make sure you disable this because if it is enabled it is lot easier to crack your phone or hack your phone so anyway if you scroll down a little more you have this option to show touches so just follow my finger now there is a bubble following my finger that's because it's showing me the place where i have touched so if you want that kind of a feature enable it over here show touches everything that you're seeing over here these are all transitions and animations so you can tweak the animation speeds to make your device look faster or slower let me simply turn off all the animations you will miss the lollipop animations but your device will look faster so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this video i hope you found this video to be helpful i guess i might have missed a few here and there do let me know if i have missed anything else there is another part of the same video which is just a continuation of this so i'll leave a link for that in the description area so do check that out in case if i have missed anything it might be in the other video and if it isn't there do let me know by commenting below this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this